Hi, I'm David Tubb. We're here today to do a debris test on the T7T Tub 700 trigger, which fits all Remington style hangers, which includes most custom actions and obviously Remington's. This trigger is uh, made out of stainless steel and aluminum parts, stainless steel springs. Uh, it is basically impervious to rust. The three debris tests that we're going to do with this trigger today and an accompanying competitor trigger, uh, hopefully it'll make it, <clears throat> are the freeze test, then water basically gets in a trigger and it can freeze and it can lock your trigger up completely. Then we'll do a dirt test for debris and then we'll do a powder test like you pulled a bullet and you got powder all over the inside of your gun. So the very first one we're going to do is, is the is the is the frozen or the water the, the water that's been frozen test and so I've had these two triggers here's the T7T we'll use it first on ice and if you get in here and look very closely you sat all night there's ice in here I can't push my pencil through there's ice in the sear section of this trigger uh, there's ice in these two holes there's a little ice on top it's a uh, and it's cold. So, uh, and, and in all fairness, on both of these, before we try to make it fire, both of these, this trigger and the uh, obviously the uh, app, the other trigger that we're going to show, we're going to engage the safety. Okay? So, safety's on and off. There's a piece of ice fell out when I engaged the safety just then. Uh, then we're going to give the trigger a couple pulls. Okay. All right. So here we go. T seven T. Two stage trigger with, and then there was water run through both these triggers extensively. Okay, it passes this thing with flying colors. First stage engagement, second stage break. Okay, and if you look or zoom in here really close, Tyler, you can see ice in the sear. Okay, in fact, I'm going to push on the back side of the sear and see if I can push the ice out. See that ice piece of ice I just moved? Push it out. It's in the sear, and this thing still passed. Of course, if I push this through, you watch this piece of ice come out of here. See that piece of ice? Anyway. All right. T7T passes the frozen test. That is a big test. Now here's a competitor's trigger that was subjected to the same setup, and consequently. It seems to catch water. You know, the, the, the T7T trigger is designed to clear debris. It has a lot of load in sears. It's designed to clear the debris if it gets in there. Uh, this particular trigger, I can guarantee you, is going to fail, but we're going to give it a, a, a try and chance anyway. So we're going to put the safety on and off a couple of times. We're going to pull on the trigger. I really pulled on the trigger. Pull on the trigger a couple. Okay. There we close the bolt. This trigger will not fire. Okay. It's frozen. Okay. So it failed on the first test. Uh, the sad thing is, is I'm not going to get to show you what the the dirt and the powder does to this, because uh, it does obviously doesn't fail the, the primary test, which is actually, in my opinion, the most important. Because you got a hunting rifle, you're going to be out in cold weather. So anyway, all right, here we go. Back with a T7T trigger. Actually, I'm going to put it back together here. This may run a little longer than I did. Safety's on. Safety's on. Safety's off. Okay. Two stage trigger. Go bang. All right. All right. So here's our dirt test. Here's some dirt. I'm going to put some dirt in the top, put some dirt in the side, some dirt in the back. Okay. Well, dirt everywhere. You see the dirt falling off the trigger? Now, that's what somebody do if you had dirt in your trigger. And the reason I didn't do it in the action is because the action doesn't close when I do this. So that means there's definitely a problem with interference of the dirt. All right. So, tray safety on, safety off, pull one trigger a couple times, here we go. Passes the dirt test. It's even gritty feeling. I feel the grit in the trigger. 
It's designed to clear the elements because of the loads on the sewers. Passed it easily. All right, the next one is the powder test. We've all pulled a case or a bullet, or if you shoot enough, so here's some powder in the top, here's some powder in the side, and here's some powder in the back, okay? Probably where you wouldn't get powder in most cases, okay? And what do most people do? Most people go to blow the powder out of the top. You wouldn't blow it out of the side. Okay, safety on, safety off, pull on the trigger a couple of times, see if it works, okay? Like it. So what you got here is you got a system that you can make this trigger weigh from a little bit over a pound and break on two or three or four ounces. It come factory adjusted weighing two pounds, breaking on about six ounces. Uh, if you run the cam finger up and down and adjust it properly, you can make this trigger weigh over three pounds. This is absolutely, uh, a, a two-stage trigger is absolutely the safest trigger in the world. <clears throat> I would encourage you to go to YouTube, watch the T7T debris test, which this is, and do a little reading on why a two-stage trigger is an eminently better choice than a single-stage trigger. Look for us on the web at davidtub.com. T7T, tub two-stage, 700 trigger. Thank you.